So that's what I would do. And a lot of people just don't know that. Hey, an engineer can do that? I didn't. What? What do you mean? Like, I thought we just go, we do this, and we, we call it a day. Dude, this is the stuff that I didn't learn in college as well. But I learned about this during the financial crisis. And this is something people don't realize. I have a, a friend of mine from Google, and she got laid off. And she's a pretty senior engineer, really great person. She got a six-month severance or whatever they were giving at that point in time. And then she got hired back four months later for 25% more in a different part of Google. And this is what I keep telling people. What's actually happening is not that engineers are not wanted, is that that business unit was not performing well and had its funding cut. And now those people need to be reabsorbed either on other parts of the company or on other parts of the economy. But it's not that engineering's in trouble, it's that that business was not performing well. Would you agree with that for, as a recruiter? Absolutely, absolutely. Especially as you get larger in different businesses, Google's a great example because they've got multiple business units, you know? And if the body part is not working, cut it off and reallocate, right? It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty basic. And when you break the economics of it down, it's very easy to see, right? If, if I put a spreadsheet in front of you and said, Zubin, we've got 10 departments, three departments are making money, seven are not, you're gonna be like, crap, we need to get rid of those seven, right? Because they're, they're, right, they're just not making money. So I'm gonna cut that one because it's not a great use of my money. I'll allocate that capital to something else.